welcome to the Slack tutorial on how to use translation bots. The translation bot under the Slack app called Translate has been added to certain channels and not to others. So the first thing you want to do when you are setting up the translation bot is to see if at Translate is already in the channel. Here you can see that Translate is not in the channel. So we're first going to invite Translate just by sending them a message. And Slack will ask us, do we want to add this person instead? Instead, we want to add them to the channel. Once we've invited the Translate Slack bot to the channel, we need to go down and make sure that everything in the channel is set up to automatically translate. So for our Learn Slack channel, we can go down into our apps, our Translate app, go into the settings, and then we want to automatically translate all messages for a channel. So for a new channel, we are going to look for the Learn Slack channel, and then we want to have a first language and a second language to translate things into. It doesn't matter if you have English or French as the first or second, as long as you have both. And the preferred display format for us is source first, so that we see first what the person wrote and then write under it in the same message, as long as they accept permissions, which I'll explain in a second. Under the same message, we will see the translation. So once you have set these save, and they will remind you all messages will now be translated to English and French, and we made sure that Translate was a member of the channel. Remember that in order to display the translation in the sourced first format, as I just said, the user posting the message must authorize Translate to act on their behalf. So users who have not authorized, their translations will still be done. They'll just be sent a message with a button to do so. And until they've authorized this translation, the, the translation of their message will come in a separate new message, which is fine. It's just not ideal. So now as a user, of the translation bot as a member in our Slack space, you'll see that someone, in this case me, has enabled automatic translation for this channel. Messages from all channel members will be translated to English, but also to French if necessary. And now it's asking me as a user for my permission to append that translation to my messages. So in order to append translations to my messages, I need to authorize Translate to act on my behalf and translations for members who have not yet authorized will appear in the channel as separate messages. It's fine if they do, it just gets a little more chaotic. But once you click on Authorize, it will send you to a, a website that will ask you to authorize. So Translate is requesting permission to access the workspace that will be able to review the content and perform actions for me. That's fine. And I'm going to allow. It will then redirect me to Slack. And if we go into the Learn Slack channel, you'll see that I can say hello. And automatically within this same block of messages, it will give the translation. Um, it should also work the other way from French to English. And again, because I authorized, it's appending to my message itself. So that is all you have to do to enable the Slack bot to work for you in any channel. You can imagine at this point that you have at least two questions about the limitations of this Slack translation bot. One question is probably, can I use this automatic translation bot within direct messages? You can, but it gets a bit tricky. So in fact, what you would have to do is you don't just message someone directly because with the direct message, there's no way to invite the Translate app. You see, we don't have the same options as before. So you would need to start a direct message 
with that individual and with the Translate app. So in fact, it's a message amongst the three of you. And then once you have all three of you, you, the person you want to talk to and translate on the same chat space, then you can go down into the app, into the settings, and just as you would for a channel, enable a new channel for full automatic translation. But here you're actually going to select the DM. So I have a direct message with Bazier and with Translate. And now I can say that I would like to have two target languages just as before English and French. And just to be standard, that we want a source first translation display format. And again, we need to give individuals need to give this permission within the channel so that that source first message can all happen together. So you'll see now if I say hello, once I authorize first, going to allow that for every channel, you need to authorize it separately, sorry. And now if I go to my chat with Bazier and translate, now I can say hello and it will give the translation. But that's quite a bit of work to set up, especially if you are um, just having a few different direct messages with different people. So while you can always create this messaging space with you, the person you want to talk with and the translate app, and then go and add that chat space with the three of you into um, in the settings to make sure it's automatically translated. You could also use the manual option that Translate gives us. This is good for direct messages. This is also good, for example, for certain messages that came before our translation bot. So at any given message, if you hover over the message and go to the three dots on the right, more actions, you'll see translate this message. You click on that and then if you scroll down you see that you have one new message at the bottom. That will be a translation that is only visible to you. So you see the translation in your target language and then you see the source, the thing that was translated. My target language was already set to English. I can change that here for Maybe it should be French, but I can also make sure that in the Translate app itself that my primary language is selected here. That will make sure that whenever I go to any message anywhere, you'll be able to click on the three dots next to it, translate this message, and then that message will be translated directly into my target language here. So wherever you are, if you are in a direct message or in a channel, if anything isn't working for you with the translation box, you can always go to the three little dots next to a message and use the translate this message option. So now there is no need to do any additional outside translation work with Deeple or Google Translate or anything else to be able to talk with our Anglophone and Francophone colleagues around the world in any channel of Slack or with any direct message. I hope you have fun learning with and from your multilingual colleagues around the world.